How's it flying, Blue Jays? Sean Blue here. I am here to talk to you guys about the disappearance of Enton Pence. Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm going to spell it right in the title of this, so don't worry. Um, Enton Pence was a six-year-old child back in 1979 who lived in Manhattan. And his mother would always walk him to the bus uh, to this particular day where this would have been his first time walking to the bus by himself. He had to just walk two blocks to the bus station and, you know, he would have just got on the bus and headed to school. But on his walk to the bus stop, he was, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. He was adopted by somebody, kidnapped. Many years later, after Enton, Enton disappeared, a man came forward and said that he was the one that kidnapped Enton Pence and that he apparently murdered him. But this man suffered from mental illness his whole life, and they couldn't find um, Enton Pence's body. So, did this man really kill, kidnapped him, kidnapped the boy? You know, who knows? Because a police officer, a New York uh, City police officer that was working on the case, he said that it wasn't that man that admitted to the crime. He said that it evolved, and I'm not saying this, but this is what this police officer said. He was saying that it involved a cult, a sex ring, where they kidnap children and they abuse children and they sacrifice children, apparently. And the reason he thought that is because a man that was locked up in prison who, for abusing children, and along with committing so many other different types of crimes, he was a, he belonged to a biker gang, he was the vice president of this gang, and he went by the name Tiny. Even though there was nothing tiny about him, he weighed over 300 pounds. He's just one of those like big biker dudes. But he was also an abuser, abuser of children as well. He said that he knew what happened to Ensign Pence. He said that he wasn't the one that kidnapped him, but he said that he was uh, doing like security for this one weird, creepy Satan party. Him and his biker gang were. And he said that him and the president of this gang, this biker gang, witnessed Ensign on stage, this one stage um, in front of all these saintness where they were pulling out ropes and measuring the boy and stuff, and they had him in the middle of the stage. And he said before they witness this boy being murdered, which he claimed happened on stage, him and his um, biker friend, they, the president of the chapter, they both um, walked out. They both walked out of the room before, before they witnessed the boy being murdered because even though he's a real sicko, I, I guess he was just bothered by seeing that so even... I don't know why they walked out. Or he was just putting on a show for his friend that he was bothered by it, so he pretended that he was bothered. Either way, they both walked out of the room when this little boy apparently got murdered. And Enton Pence, he was the first milk carton child. They said that China Gosh was back in 1982 when he was kidnapped, but it was actually Enton Pence in 1979, three years before Johnny ever got kidnapped. And he was even younger than Johnny. Johnny was a paper boy. But, um... So what really ever happened to Enton Pence, I don't know. But this police officer said that he believes that he was murdered by this Satan group that apparently had um, David Burkritz a part of it, the son of Sam. And David Burkritz, as far as I know, he never mur murdered any children. He would, you know, go around cause shooting random people. I think just women, maybe men too, but he at least went around shooting because just like the Zodiac went around shooting because random people and um, women in the city were very scared of him and they thought he was targeting brunette women. So a lot of women were bleaching their hair, like Italian women and Jewish women with bleached blonde hair. With the, So um, so they, they're why well, because they were worried like, oh, he's only killing brunette women, you know, so. But um, so, yeah, I just wanted to throw that there, uh, uh, the, uh, that out there about Enton Pence. And what really ever happened to him, I don't know. I, You know, hopefully one day we can figure out whatever happened to this young child. Like we figured out who the Golden State Killer was. How we figured out all these other old cold cases from the 70s and the 80s. 
So hopefully we can get this bastard or bastards that did it. All right, thank you.